Well, this is uh, Asus in search of incredible. And uh, did they find it? No, not really. But this is a nice phone for $299. It's got a crazy x86 Intel processor. I actually think the 1080p screen is a feature. It improves the performance. Games like Hearthstone run like a dream on this thing. The camera's only okay. It's very soft and grainy. I, I took several sample pictures. The software is really awful. I mean, it's worse than Samsung circa 2011. There is so much bloat on this crap. It's just ridiculous. And like, yeah, oh, I want those 50 games. And all these awesome Zen Link things. And it's just so stu stupid. So it would take a lot of work to theme it. I actually like the capacitive buttons because I don't like the on-screen buttons. I know I'm weird that way. I just like to maximize the screen space. It is a fairly good screen ratio. It's not like what you see in the promotional stuff, which shows like no bezel on the side. As you can see, there's hefty bezel. It's more than my Galaxy S6 uh, has which is right there, um, and you know, for $299 you get a good phone, it does not work on Verizon, and they obviously say that, but it won't even pick up the network or recognize it, um, and I had some issues with the dual SIM setup, but uh, at the end of the day it's got an SD card slot, I think it's a good value for some, like if you have AT&T or T-Mobile you want an unlocked device, um, it feels kind of nice, the battery's not removable, uh, but I don't know, I mean it's an okay phone, it's a great I guess it, I would say it's a really high-end phone for the uh, for the the price, and I'm not sure why more people don't actually offer phones at this price point. Um, but as you can see, it's just really, really laggy and bloated. Uh, but when it comes down to playing games and doing things like that, uh, you can multitask like a dream with the four gigs of RAM, uh, and you can get really high frame rates uh, and performance on on games. So it's something to consider.